Lifelong voter is behind a push to save lives on Minnesota's lakes. This is what happened to Jack Doty's boat after he fell out and then spent an hour in the cold April waters nearly dying. He spoke with our Bab Santos today and Babs, it sounds like he doesn't think that he could have survived much longer in that water. Yeah, that's right. And even a month later, he is still recovering. The hypothermia nearly killed him and he has a partially torn glute. We got a report of a watercraft that was spinning around in circles. This day at the start of boating season changed the entire summer for Jack Doty. A near-death experience the 47-year-old will remember for the rest of his life. It's just been hard, but I'm alive and uh, I still get to hug my kids and wife every day. Back in April, Doty was testing out a new boat when a windstorm knocked him off balance, throwing him into Lake Minnetonka. He was wearing a life jacket and that saved his life. But without a kill switch installed on the boat, it kept on moving without him. And uh, I realized right there that there's a real chance I'm not going to make it through this. So the water was 39 degrees. Um, I was in the water about an hour. For that hour, Jack willed himself to survive, clinging on to his life as the freezing water fought to claim it. it gives me chills thinking about it. About an hour later, Hennepin County Sheriff's Office's water patrol was there doing everything it could to save the father of two. All I could see was just a hand wave over the horizon. Sure enough, there he was in the water. It just makes me appreciate those guys so much. Um, they put their life on the line. Now Doty wants to use his second chance at life to help save the lives of others. Rather than a GoFundMe to pay for my funeral, donate to this to get these in as many boats as we can. He's raising money to buy wireless kill switches, a device that would have stopped his boat's motor, allowing him to swim to it and climb back on board. And if you have a boat and if you fish, this is the best $200 you can spend. And Doty's goal is to get these kill switches on as many boats as possible, but in particular, he wants to work with organizations that take veterans out on the water to go fishing. We have more information posted at fox9.com.